Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The formula for which you wish to view the various possible outcomes must contain a variable that you will fill in with values from the input column or row in your data table. That variable within the formula must be entered as a cell reference so that we can isolate exactly what part of the formula is going to be adjusted and calculated in the data table. If the variable in the formula doesn't exist in the worksheet, then it can be handy to create a formula reference table into which you can place the values used in the formula. Then you can ensure that the formula will be evaluated in the data table and makes a reference to those cells in the formula reference table. However, if the cell references exist naturally within the spreadsheet data, then this may be an unnecessary step. So let's suppose that we have a commission situation. We would like to know what the commission would be as far as the dollar earnings if we have a commission rate of 10% starting with amounts sold at $10,000. You could create the formula reference table apart from your data table that in this case would contain the amount and the commission rate from which we could then calculate the amount of dollar commission that the person would earn for the sale. Also, if any of these references change in the future, perhaps you have a different commission rate, you could change the reference table which will then automatically update the data table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.